Well, of course, we are now a week into spring, believe it or not, and temperatures are warming up. And this year, most of us are trying to keep our distance from others, even outdoors. And one of the safest way is to, to enjoy our beautiful parks and trails is to ride a bike. But is your bike ready after the long winter? Back with us this morning, live from his garage, is Dane 24-7 Now's Mike Joyce. He has some tips to make sure you are biking safely this spring. Well, good morning, Kristen. We have a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning coming right into my garage this morning, and that means it's going to be a great at least first half of the day to ride your bike. But if it's been sitting in the garage for four months like mine has, your tires might be flat. I highly recommend before you even think about getting out on the bike trail to check your tire pressure. And you can stick just uh, any old gauge, this electronic one will do, into the valve stem right here to read the pressure. And it's not even reading any PSI. A road bike like this with the skinny tires needs to have 70 to 100 PSI. So that's a lot of pumping if you have a hand pump. A mountain bike like this with the thicker tires needs to be at about 40 PSI. But because these road bikes require a lot of pressure, I highly recommend using an electric pump like the one we have here. And I just have it running right into the cigarette lighter outlet of the car. All I do is turn it on and it pumps right up and has a gauge right on it. I won't leave it on because you won't hear me if I do. It's also really important to check your brakes. Your brake handle does not want to touch the handlebar. So this bike is in good shape and you also don't want your brake to be constantly rubbing against the rim. If you need to adjust the cable, you can adjust it two ways. You can use this barrel adjuster right here to adjust the, uh, tens, uh, the tension on the cable, and you can also adjust the tension on this bolt right here. And on most bikes, you can just do that with a typical Allen wrench. I also want to talk about lighting. If you ride at night, you need to have a rear reflector that's red and a front reflector that's white. Not only that, but you can buy these electric lights, battery powered, uh, for about 20 bucks from your local bike shop or online. Uh, get a red one for the back and a white one for up front to help you be visible at night. Plus, this is an accessory here. Makes a little bit of a rainbow light on the ground if you're riding at night. It makes it really easy for uh, other drivers and bikers to see you at night, which is very important. Finally, WD-40, don't use it to grease up your bike chain. WD-40 actually does the opposite. It will remove the grease that your manufacturer put on there and it can lead to rust and wear a lot quicker. If you wanna lube up your bike chain, get specific bike lubrication that you can find from your local bike store or online as well. So if you're ready to hit the trails, Follow these quick steps and you'll be good to go for a safe activity during these tough times. Live from my garage, Mike Joyce, Dayton 24-7 now. Back to you guys. Our time now, 825. Social distancing doesn't mean you have to be bored.